Hey everyone, welcome to this crash course lecture on using your command line. Before we install anything, including Python, it's actually really important to have a very quick overview of how to work at your command line. And the command line basically allows you to programmatically move through your computer's directories. That way, you can run Python scripts at your command line. What we're going to cover in this short lecture is how to find your current directory, how to list all the files in a directory, how to change a directory, and then how to clear the command line screen. Something you need to understand though is that the commands are going to be slightly different depending on what your operating system is. So for Mac OS and Linux users, go ahead and jump to this time in the video in order to go through your set of instructions. If you're a Windows user, go ahead and jump to this time stamp at the video to jump to your specific instructions. And then once you've gone through your command line crash course, go ahead and move on to the next lecture. Again, this is just because the commands are slightly different for Linux and Mac OS users versus Windows users. Okay, go ahead and jump to the correct timestamp and we'll meet back there. All right, so let's go over the Windows command line operations. At your computer to find the command prompt, all you need to do is search for the term CMD and you should be able to find command prompt as the best match. If command prompt doesn't show up when you search CMD, instead just search for the whole phrase command prompt and then you should see command prompt desktop app. Once you've opened up your command prompt, you should see something that looks like this. Let's start off by finding out where are we currently located. Basically, what's our current directory? I can use the command line to interact with my computer, but to actually perform those interactions, I need to know where I'm at on my computer. You can think of this as basically programmatically moving around through files and folders on your computer. You can type out CD, hit enter, and this will report back your current directory. Now you'll notice the command prompt actually basically gives you the file path of where you already are, but sometimes if the file path is really long or you're dealing with more complex things like virtual environments or installations, it's always a good idea to check your current directory by typing CD. Sometimes things like the Anaconda prompt will have other directories in parentheses. You can always confirm your current directory by typing out CD hit enter, and that reports back where you are. So I can see right now, I'm under this particular user's folder. If I wanted to figure out what all the files and folders located in my current directory were or are, I can type dir, hit enter, and that reports back the contents of my directory. I can see here that there's the desktop, documents, downloads, as well as some hidden files denoted by starting with a dot. But basically, this is everything that's in this folder, C users Marcial. I can scroll down, see CSV files, pictures. Now let's imagine I wanted to actually move into one of these subfolders. What I can do is type CD and then the name of that folder. For example, if I wanted to change directories to my desktop location, I can type CD, change directory space, and then desktop, hit enter, and now I'm at my desktop and I can type CD to confirm that I'm at my desktop. If I want to go back up a directory, all I need to do is type CD space dot dot or period period, hit enter and now I've moved back up a directory. Now you don't actually need to type in the entire file path if you're moving around. What you can do is say CD, begin typing such as the letter D, then hit tab and you should be able to see it autocomplete for you. So as I hit tab, I get the various options of everything that starts with a capital D. So I can go to documents, hit enter, and then if I wanted to see all my documents, I can type dir, and we can see all our documents here. Again, if I want to go back, cd space dot dot, and if I ever want to clear my entire command line screen, I can type cls, and I've cleared the entire screen. All right, that's really all the basics we need to know for right now. Just to review, cd for current directory, DIR to list everything in my directory, CD and then the name of the folder that I want to jump to. For example, if I want to go to downloads, CD downloads. Again, you can hit tab to autocomplete. And if we ever want to jump back up, CD dot dot. And if we ever want to clear the screen, it's CLS. That's the basics you need to know. We'll see you at the next lesson where we discuss how to install Python. All right, so let's go over the macOS and Linux command line operations. And your command line in macOS and Linux is known as a terminal. So these commands work on both of these operating systems the exact same way. Let's get started. 
To begin working with the command line on a Linux or Mac OS, you first need to open up your terminal. Search your computer for terminal, either on Mac OS or Linux, it's called the same thing, and then open up your terminal. You should eventually get something that looks like this. The colors or font may be slightly different, but the basic idea is the same. The terminal gives you a command line interface, and the command line interface allows you to move around different files or folders on your computer, and with some more advanced functionality, you can also make new directories or remove directories. We don't really need to know that right now. All we really need to know is how to understand what our current working directory is, change directories, and just move around. This basically allows us to move around the computer at the command line. The first thing we want to know is where we're currently located. To know that, type pwd, hit enter, and this will print your working directory. This is where you're currently located at the command line. If you want to understand what files and folders are located at your current location, type ls and then hit enter, and you should see a list of different files and folders at your current directory. If you ever want to move to one of those files or folders, what you can do is type cd and then whichever file or folder you want to go to. However, it should be in the list that was just printed. For example, let's move to our desktop. So I will come back down here and type cd desktop, hit enter, and now if I type pwd and I hit enter again, I'm now at my desktop. If you ever want to clear your screen, just type clear, hit enter, and now you've been able to clear your command line. If you ever want to go back up a directory, it's just cd space dot dot, hit enter, and now we're back up a directory, which I can confirm by typing pwd. That's really all we need to know as far as the commands are concerned. Let's have a quick review. To print your working directory, it's pwd, and this reports back where you're currently located. If you want to know the files and folders at your current location, type ls, and this will list all the files and folders. If you want to clear your command screen, type clear, hit enter, and this will clear your command line. If you want to change directory to a subfolder, type cd, and then you can even begin typing the name, such as desktop. And if I just hit desk and then hit tab, it should autocomplete. If you do not get an autocomplete by hitting tab, that's probably a good indicator that it's not a direct subfolder of your current directory. But then you can type cd, the name of the subfolder or subdirectory, and then we can see now we're located here by typing pwd. If you ever want to go back up, type cd space dot dot. Okay, that's the basics of moving around through the command line. We're going to be using that later on when we run Python scripts at the command line. We'll see you at the next lesson where we discuss how to actually install Python onto your computer.